wanted to do a short video on some of my lessons learned doing running rigging. I've got a couple of sailboats, a 16 foot and a 25 foot, and mostly coastal cruising and a little bit of racing. Ian, diameter of your jib sheet, your main sheet, some of your other control lines. This chart kind of helps, and I'll put in the post the link to this chart. Um, the other thing that you need to know is length of some of these, and I've made a lot of mistakes going by what I saw on posts and YouTube videos and always came up a little short. I run my control lines back to the cockpit to solo sails, so this gives you some good starting points. Uh, but again, it's better to buy too much than too little. You cut once, <laughs> measure twice. Um, I like the Samson brand, the Samson XLS3. I like the feel, uh, but it's confusing because as you can see in the charts, there's metric and imperial, and sometimes they mix them up. Uh, you'll see on the Defender website where I usually get a good price. They'll have it in metric and in, in infraction. Bit confusing. Uh, so just jumping right in, here's a couple of ways that I will uh, deal with the ends so they don't fray. Um, this is just some scrap corded, but it's, it's the same with the Samson. It's the same with some of the other brands. Um, a lot of times you get them from the, the manufacturer with electrical tape on the end. And a lot of times I just leave it. It usually lasts a season. But if I've got something where I've cut it, I'll just tape it like this. I know a lot of people make cringe, but it's quick, it's down, it's dirty, and it doesn't fray. And most of the time, unless it's a really tight, um, you know, jammer or cam cleat, this is not a problem. And if it acts up on me, I just tape it. I usually have tape in my toolkit. The next is if I've got a long line and I need to cut, I will do just what you see right here. I'll tape where the cut is going to be and cut it. And usually that's good enough. Um, I've, you know, go all season like that. The next thing, uh, some people may cringe at this, but this has become my favorite method. Um, I go get a pair of the Harbor Freight gloves, the most common one that they have about six, seven bucks for a pair. And I will either use a butane torch or here I just have a lighter and I'll heat it up. And I know I burned it, but I don't care. And then I will form it. And I've had this last all season. And if you got a really tight hole or cam cleat or something, this is beautiful and it lasts all season. And that's about it. Thank you. There's uh, more info in the post.